This tutorial will demonstrate how to recover deleted files from your computer using the free third-party software called Recuva. In this video, I'm going to show you how to recover a deleted Microsoft Word document, but you'll also be able to recover deleted picture, music, and video files. Let's first open up a browser window. I'm going to open up my Internet Explorer 8 browser, but you can use any browser that you like. And at the top, in the web address bar, I'm going to type in the name of my favorite website that I use to download free software from. It's called www.download.com. And press enter. And once the website loads, we're going to navigate to the top where the search bar is and make sure the Windows button is highlighted and type in Recuva R-E-C-U-V-A and press enter and if we scroll down on the page we'll see that the only item that is listed is the latest version of Recuva that download.com has so let's click on the Recuva link and be brought to its page where we will get a download.com editors review of the software and also a publishers description of their very own software so if we scroll back up next to the download now button you'll also see how big Recuva is so the software file is 3.59 megabytes which is a very small file so you won't have to worry about this piece of software slowing down your computer at all and you can also look at the editor's rating and the average user ratings these are great things to look at before downloading any software so once you're satisfied you can click on the download now link and now let's accept the download and click download file and click on the run button once the files have been extracted press the run button again and let's get out of our browser window I'm just gonna minimize it and select any language that you prefer your software to be in I'm gonna click on the default English and press OK and you're brought to the Welcome to the Recuva Setup Wizard page. Let's press Next. And like any other software that you download, you will have to agree to the license agreement. So I will agree. Here you can browse and put any of the program files where you want them on your computer. I'm just going to use the default location and press Next. And if you want to add an icon for Recuva to your desktop keep the add desktop shortcut clicked and if you want to be able to access Recuva through the start menu then you can also keep the add start menu shortcut clicked I recommend keeping the first three checked and unchecking the install optional Yahoo toolbar since I believe any of the toolbars that are included in software packages are basically advertisements so I usually do not recommend installing them and once you're happy with that click install and then click on finish now for the sake of the tutorial I made a Microsoft Word document called test and let's open that document up very quickly so we can see what's inside and you guys can make sure that I'm recovering the same document that I delete. So if we maximize our document, you can see that all I wrote was I will soon delete this document and then recover it. So let's exit out of that. And usually when people are deleting things from their computer, they'll just press the delete button, which will send the file to the recycle bin. So we'll say yes. and usually the recycle bin becomes overflowed or overcrowded so people will empty it 
essentially making the file not available on the operating system or in other words not viewable to users of the computer. So now that we deleted it from the recycle bin, let's open up our Recover software. First click on the next button and it asks us what type of file we're trying to recover. We deleted a Microsoft Word document so we'll click on the documents tab and click next. It's extremely helpful for the software if you know where you deleted it so if you always know that you delete your files from the recycle bin then click on in the recycle bin which we did so we'll click on next again and click on start the search usually takes about three to five minutes and usually not more than that if you do the deep scan which is another option that'll take up to an hour once your Recuva file search finishes all of the relevant files that you have deleted will be listed in our search only one file was recovered using the documents and deleted from the recycle bin path and it says that the test.doc which was the name of our original document click on the checkbox next to the file name and then click on recover from here we can save it anywhere on our computer I'm going to resave it on the desktop by highlighting the desktop and clicking OK and it warns us that if you restore to the same drive this can reduce the chance of a successful recovery but you still want to say yes recover to the same drive and press OK and if we minimize our Kuva software program and open up our test word document again this will verify that I have recovered the exact same document that I deleted and it's the same the text says again I will soon delete this document and then recover it so let's exit out and that's how you recover a Microsoft Word document that you've deleted a word of caution when recovering documents recovering documents that you've deleted is never a hundred percent guarantee when you delete a file from your operating system it doesn't permanently delete itself but it does tell the operating system that that file memory space can be overwritten so the sooner you try to recover a deleted file the better your chance of a successful recovery so if you delete something by accident immediately try to recover that document because there is the potential that it can get overwritten and therefore corrupted so I hope you like this tutorial and I'll see you next time